Hey guys, this is Killer Rob speaking, and today we're back in Motorsport Manager with Killer Rob Motors. And after a fantastic podium finish for Patrizio, we are so solidly in uh, whatever place we are in right now. Let's see, fourth, yes. But it's just no getting closer to Panther Race Team. That will be the struggle for next season, and that is why we are preparing hard. Uh, building some parts for the next season very soon because we don't have that many days left we don't after this gearbox is completed we only have a leeway of 15 more days and then of course we need to calculate that there needs to be some oh well, 15 plus whatever time is after the race so probably around seven days um, before the season ends so yeah, we need to be done with all the building until then. That of course always is a little bit of a struggle, but uh, our next gearbox, I won't have that much. But the the one thereafter, the season end part will be fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. Uh, anyway, you know, we shall take on the next race in Vancouver, which is the the crazy one. Fifty two fucking laps, tire wear high. Yeah, uh, but no rain this time. Uh, that is acceleration and low speed corners based. And interview question, which driver is better? At what? Partying? Getting girls? Clearly Ramon. And there was no mistake last race. And that means that we have caught up a little bit again with the stamina. Not much, mind you. Not that much. But it's something. Holy shit, what kind of Superman is this? Uh, he can do everything. Uh, and 99 stamina. Uh, that's uh, rather potent, I would say. Can we fire someone for this guy? Let's see. Who, who's down here? Who's still struggling? Refueling. Yeah, that's perfect, isn't it? Although, although, hmm, he does have 98 as maximum, which is pretty handy. I'd rather fire one of these guys, like 75 max. That is shit. That is really shit. And he would certainly replace that guy. But it is a bit bad. Considering that he's just about having maximum maximum stamina, that's not optimal to switch him out right now. Maybe I should switch out this guy. I mean, he has 99, but he has pretty weak stats. Uh, yeah, I believe that is a, would be a good decision. So let's just swap in there. And Yule! Yule? You're going to get fired, son. Yeah. Versus this guy. These stats are just so much better. Uh, the 99. It's, it's unfortunate. Let's, let's sign the deal. Uh, it's expensive. Uh, come on. We need... We need more. We need so much more. 19 and everything. <laughs> Shit. So it's a plus two we're getting right now on all the stats. That is powerful. So what do you want to do, mate? What do you want to do? can basically do anything you like. So, uh, switch you out with this guy. And now, I'm not supposed to forget to, uh, to up the contract length for all these guys that are still remaining. Although, I think he needs to go. Do we want to hire someone else here? Yeah, I think so. You need to go, because you are pretty shit. 76 only. Although, no, this guy is even worse. He's currently at maximum um, stamina, of course. Mm. But we did have one who is really good here. Yeah. That will be a 19. That's strong. Alright. You're also signed, and you're gone. Siegel, bye-bye. 19, 100 stamina. Alright, all the contracts are renewed. We are on the safe side. And this is... This is some good team here. Very nice. 
Uh, anyway, let's uh, continue on with our little journey. And Gearbox has taken another five days. <laughs> what is going on now? <laughs> Patrizio is taking it to the next level. <laughs> to the next level, I say. Soon he will be the Pope. <laughs> Pope Patrizio Lopez Torres. <laughs> oh, oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, uh, why? <laughs> now I have two shit drivers. Oh, man. <sighs> the game isn't isn't treating me well right now. Can you see that? For fuck's sake, Patrizio. That is unnecessary. And we just finished our gearbox. Epic gearbox. So, 15 days are left, uh, if my calculations are correct. And that means we need to find a really quick to build part that does help us uh, get to a wonderful, wonderful season end part. Legendary. Right. Um, here we have already checked that out. This is going to be this. This. Oh, that is. Oh, that is a long time. This takes a long time. Now that's 23 days. I had that at 19. So that's an additional 4 days. An additional 4 days to what I had. So it's 11 days that are left. Ooh, ouch. Ouchies. But it's definitely worth it. <laughs> Look at that performance. That is massive. I think the rear wing would be a prime candidate to make faster. And we do have a good card here, minus three days. And this one only takes 5.4 days. But I also have it, have the final version at 5.4 days. Hmm. Okay. So that would be a little slower. That would be a little slower. So, but 11 days, mm, yeah, yeah, it's still fine. Thing. So this one is a good candidate to to get that done. Uh, I could select both of these. They don't add any time. That's a pretty safe bet, yes. I mean, I'm losing slightly there, but I mean, two days and 50k for five points is not really worth it. So I think that might be the way to go. The alternative is brakes. Ugh. Eh. Breaks. Uh, what what is coming up here? Can, do we have any good performing stuff here? Yeah, this one is decent. Also saves us time. This one is good, but not nearly as powerful as some of the other stuff. But this is also just 5.4 days. Hmm. Let's see. So our deceleration is decent already, and we are not at the top anymore for the high speed corners, but pretty close to. But deceleration is coming up a fair amount and high okay high speed corners one two high speed corners is coming up two times and deceleration is coming up three times so deceleration it is if we want to be smart okay okay on the other hand it should also be about uh season end part it's uh, the, uh, the rear wing has better cards to select for the season end. Ah, oh, this is so tricky. Yeah. Having an additional slot here will make more of a difference. Because there's more good stuff to select. So, okay. Now, rear wing it is. Ah, oh, man. It's difficult. But I can't use everything. Because then we are at 11 days. I don't want to be that close to the mark. So I think I'm going with this one, the special card here, because that doesn't add any time. And this leaves us at 7.4 days and three days left overall. Hmm, and still a bit of room for improvement and gives us the additional card. So that's good. I'll build this part. And that is the last part that we're actually going to use in cars this season. Beyond that, it's only getting uh getting all the parts done for the season end oh politics politics vote let's see 
Your vote has started. 12 dry tire choices. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Um, well, what does it mean? Teams can choose 12 tire types per race weekend, placing greater emphasis on tire wear rates. Um, um, and that is tires of choice. So, actually, I don't really think I care too much. Because you can still only choose from the three different types. And this basically gives you more tires. So, if, if the majority is four, I would go with this. I actually would go with this. We do have... How much voting power do I have? Oh, plenty. <laughs> I can abstain. I, I mean, I, I don't care either way. It's fine. If we get it, that's good. Uh, maybe I lean a little bit more towards four because more choice is always nicer. So, continue. Abstain. Towards the end. Everyone is for it. Oh, oh wow. They are. Okay, good that I didn't vote. My god, they are really against this shit. And the rear wing is done. That means we now can start the season end parts. And I need to design first uh, the parts that the parts that have the most plus to maximum and that are the fastest. Nah, not necessarily. We're still a little busy with optimizing our current parts. But it would be good to have them early on. So let's start with the rear wing. As that is what we did last. Uh, let's build something awesome. And I had this one marked at just 5.4 days. Um, 5.4. That might change a little now. But we take this, this. And then we can choose uh, this one. This makes it 8.4. There we have our three extra days. And uh, one more. Oh, this one. Now we're at 5.4 days. Yay! Oh, that's good. That is pretty powerful. Do we want this? I think that's it. Yeah, I mean, this finishes right after the race. So, oh, it's not that much time left, but yeah, yeah, it's good to have this one out. So let's build it. The Vancouver Tiny Track. Hmm. 52 laps. Tire wear high. We know that one. 10 fall above. And we are using our epic gearbox for this one. It just finished. And it has maximum performance and maximum durability. But it has this nasty red zone which is super large fuck that and this race in the dry isn't nearly as bad as it was in the rain where we needed like five or six stops if i remember right that was crazy but yeah if we're running on soft tires i would take medium tires onto this one but yeah soft tires should be fine and hmm but oh wait a second wasn't it such that they only last uh, 17 to 19 laps or something. So it's pretty much on the edge of this one. Even with two stops. I mean, that's it's crazy how much tire wear this track has. Yep, actually 17 to 19 laps. Right. Uh, we need one set of these for now. And how hot is this? Just This is pretty cold. All right. All right, that went pretty well. We got three of everything because there are so many laps you can do in that amount of time. And the knowledge is counted per lap or increases per lap. So yeah, that's that. Um, easy to gain all the knowledge you want. And I think we're ready for the qualifying. Beautiful stuff. But everyone else will have three free as well. And here we go, fastest lap, the first. Oh, we seem to be way off pace. The Nitro Ninja has struck again. And seventh. Yeah, it's looking like we will have an easy enough time to get into the top ten at least. 
Oh, oh, wait a second. That's the wrong person being there. Hello there, Ramon. What are you doing here? All right, here we go, second attempt. Patrizio, it can only get better from there, I hope. Whoa, that was close. One thousandth of a second between the Nitro Ninja and uh, the Scuderia. And what do we get here? Oh, ninth. And no improvement there. Ninth and tenth. So here what we're going to choose is race trim and refueling. Because, whoa, oh, refueling will be so powerful in this race. Because refueling um, is... The time it takes to refuel is counted per lap. And we have 52 laps. But each lap is so short. But that doesn't factor into how long refueling takes. So Patrizio is going to go hard. Gets maximum fuel load. And then just powers through. Um, but we do... 52 laps. That's so much. Ooh. Uh, 51 would be 17 per stint. Can we do that? Now, the temperatures today are pretty high, so we can run with low tire setting and stretch them. So that's good. Yeah, I think that's uh, the right call. And if that doesn't pan out, then we can always do a, uh, a pretty quick splash and dash towards the end where we just switch tires to a pair of ultra softs. A quartet. Yes, let's call it a quartet of ultra soft tires. And let's do the same with Ramon. Should be fine. And no, we are not going to get bogged down in the battles right at the start, which are chewing through tires. Let's avoid that. And the Nitro Ninja is starting out on Ultra Softs. He will be just flying through here. And the lights are on. Come on. Don't start too slowly. Oh, no. Standing start. Uh, block them. Block them all. Oh, shit. Someone's running wide. Yeah, we dodged them. Oh, we won't be able to go the pace of ultra soft tires, and that's, I think, obvious. We are way down the field. I mean, we are way up in tire wear. So far, so good. 11th and 12th. The first few pit stops have been done already. And really... This is not going hard on the engine at all, so we can race it at maximum if we want to. And I think the fuel tank should allow it for that. Um, yeah, let's hope it does. Oh, wow. What? Now we're in fourth. Fifth. Okay. Oh, oh what a clusterfuck. What is this racing? 13 laps done, but our tires are getting very low right now. Yeah, 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 it looks like we have to change strategy slightly. Um, how about we go one and two more laps respectively. And from there, we go a three stop, well, no, a two stop strategy after that pit stop. So a three stop strategy overall, but the last stop we make a splash and dash. All right, so Patrizio is coming in first. Whoa. Even with this skill, it takes nine or ten seconds. <laughs> Fuck me. That's that's long. Balance pit stop. So a nine second pit stop. Huh. <laughs> pit stop guru refueling. That saves us 7.5 seconds. What? That's a 20 second pit stop. Okay. I mean, fast is better. Certainly is better. Even if mistakes were made. That's four seconds difference. And Patrizia's done. Fastest refuel ever. 
And here's Ramon. Everyone is passing him, but... Oh, the refueling takes forever. Uh, someone has crashed, but no safety car? No flags? Nothing? Nope. Alright. And we're getting close to our next pit stop. Uh, it's just about halfway through the race right now. 23 laps remaining. Yep, uh, it's not really possible to stretch it. So what I'm going to do is another um, well, balanced pit stop. Um, refuel to 17 liters. Oh, 17 laps, rather. And tire choice, another soft tire set. And then we switch over to ultra softs in the final stint. And the same for Patrizio. No, the same for Ramon, I mean. 16. Oh, wait a second. Why is this exactly 16? That should be fine. Ah, okay. Now we have the 0.5 extra. So, let's switch over to that. More fuel. How much? Is that enough? 20 laps? Yeah, we can power through this. Fast pit stop for him. Because uh, that's a lot of time. It's coming out in 13th. This is weak. Such a weak performance of all. It's our gearbox, I guess. Terrible. And our religious ministers. And Patrizio needs to come in. But man, that's still 10 laps to go. Uh, that's crazy. Um, all right. Let's put in some fuel and we go super softs. All right, there we go. Come on. Yes, and out. Okay. So uh, we need to put you in as well and also go super softs. It's not quite enough for ultra softs. And we actually got through all of this without any pit stop mistakes. That is great. Oh, this is getting close. Come on. No, 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 no. That was the worst possible outcome. What kind of maneuver was that? Fucking hell. Uh, excess fuel. What? On the final lap. Okay, good. And across the line, eight. Whoa, that was a terrible race. No pace whatsoever. Uh, it was a bad combination of parts, of course. Well, this one always takes forever to race because of so many pit stops. And there we have it. 8th and 13th. Oh shit, that was awful. Absolute garbage. No cheaters either. Hmm, we are just so bad. And no changes in the overall Drivers' Championship standings. And neither in the team standings. But Panther Race Team is getting away from us. Oh, are you kidding me? How... How much more bad luck can you get? Really? What the fuck? Dodgy neck. For another eight, for eight weeks. Oh my god. Yeah. Absolute garbage. Not only do they get terrible traits for being lunatics, they also <laughs> get dodgy necks. Uh, but oh, we came fifth. All right. At least Kant Kruger is not angry. And I mean, we did get our sponsorship bonuses, I guess. At least something. Rear wing is built. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.